Well, the YouTube out to here with another video on once again skinwalkers. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is due to the fact that I uh, subscribed to a new channel. His name is Cryptid Hunter. Obviously, he does the same things I do, uh, but he he's out in the uh, Mexico area, and he I think he is Mexican. Just by the way, I thought he was Native American, but uh started speaking Mexican. And um, I guess they got their own skinwalkers out there. And uh, this guy's a little soft-spoken person, I mean. He is skeptical, <laughs> go figure, of what he does. I mean, what he looks for. Of course, spirits and ghosts. But yet he does it anyways, which makes him different for me because I say all the time, if you don't believe enough, you will not get enough evidence. And he had a friend. He was telling a story that he had once heard from a friend talking about a, <laughs> a man there was naked out in the Mexico desert, I believe. There's a road, I guess. Go figure, I asked him for the name of the road. I don't even know if he's even on his YouTube channel around lately, but I haven't seen nothing new of his. But uh, I asked him where this road was because I wanted to get the lay of the land out there, but I haven't heard back. Go figure, that's a lot of problems I've been having lately. I want to figure out stuff. People have other stuff I want to look into. Because I believe I have can <laughs> came across the real life skinwalker. And that is out at the farm there, at uh, Russell Farm. Due to the fact that the skinwalker ranch out there near the Utah area. I believe it was that state, but I have to look into it again. I gotta go back on my videos and stuff. This man, I guess, supposedly drove a armored car vehicle. And I'm going to recite his story from his friend. Because the details that he has given of this skinwalker is what I've seen. Not too long ago, about a week and a half ago, mind you. And what my wife saw, pretty much. Yeah, about been about three and a half months now. In the bedroom, mind you, that we sleep in. I did leave my camera up there. I'm going to have to do it again and see what happens. But lately, I don't know. Nothing's been coming out in this area too much. But go figure, a few minutes ago, I was out walking the pug. I had to leave the phone in here because I'm trying to download a freaking video of today. Of course, it sucks. I don't have full uh, data usage. So when your data runs out, I don't freaking download your videos. And the Wi-Fi I've been skipping out on because I've been going here, there, everywhere today. I was lucky enough to get a video in today, so I'm trying to get it up. It's the Lemons to Lake Dam. I'm glad I'm going to have to do a little more researching out in that area, boy. A lot of looking for in that land, uh, especially for metal detecting, you want to check out. But, the description of this story this guy has me thinking. <laughs> Back to the skinwalker. What I seen hop across that road that day, man. I don't know. I mean, it could have been a coyote, it could have been a koi wolf. They are known to be around here, koi wolves in the New England area. Came down from Canada. But I'll be some bitch if that is a friggin' skinwalker, man. And like I said, my wife seen some hairy creature in the bedroom one night. And believe she, me, she does have encounters with ghosts. She does have dreams of ghosts. But yet she does not want nothing to do with it. 
happened, but I wonder why two years ago a freaking ghost told her to tell me to stop what I'm doing. Eh, something bad going to happen. But anyways, skinwalkers. So this guy in Mexico doing his route. And he was a very skeptic person on Supernatural. There was this road that he was told never to take. Dude, that he was running late. Didn't care what anybody said. He went down this road. As he's driving, now be aware if anybody don't know what a skinwalker is. Skinwalker is a shaman of an Indian's. And due to the white man, I believe, these are my thoughts, these are my theories, took form of this creature, just like any other creature, and cursed the land for any wrongdoers coming in trying to steal their land. That's why I think I got a connection with a skinwalker right now. Because I'm taking this to a new level. I'm searching, I'm bringing the story forth that is once forgotten. But it's people like this guy, non-believers, don't care. And mind you, this road was cursed. And this skinwalker was made for this road due to the fact, and he st the other guy there, the uh, cryptic hunter says, due to the Native Americans, I guess, wanting respect. Which they never got respect. They got disrespected, ripped off, and yes, killed, raped, destroyed of their land. That's why I like talking about Indians, because I might be so hold Indian blood in myself, whether it be Mohawks, Suhawks, um, Blackfoot. Any of the New York Indian tribes. And uh, this guy went down this road, you know, speeding away, getting his route done, didn't care. Now, also, skinwalkers can form into birds, can form into, right, other creatures say so. And this supposed to be a bird hit the truck of the windshield. Now, the guy was trying to explain that it had bulletproof glass. He was goofing up on his story, made it a little funny, but the cryptic hunter guy, <laughs> he's a character, boy. He, he gets everything screwy, but he's a funny, funny guy. I like him already. But the blood splattered everywhere in this windshield, and, you know, the guy was all, whoa, what did I just hit? Thinking he hit somebody. He got out of the truck, I guess. Instead of going backwards, he went around the truck from the front all the way around. And lying in the road was a man, naked. Skin marker. But it wasn't a skin marker had formed yet. And he went up to ask this person if he was all right. Hey, buddy, you know what? Is there something wrong? Can I help you? thing just got up, stared at him, dead in his eyes. And literally, I guess he started limping away, but gave him this glare that scared the holy crap out of him. And as the thing got up and walked away eventually, he went over there to the front of his window, tried to clean up the blood as much as he could, got the hell out of Dodge, made it to a gas station. And after he cleaned up the truck a little bit better than he can see, he started noticing this man and the dog type, mind you, following him. The man would be standing here, dash into the woods, disappear. man would be standing over there, he's driving the truck, he's seeing it everywhere. Finally came to the point where he got home after his delivery that his son came to him and said there's a man in the backyard near the back porch or whatever. So the guy grabbed his gun, went outside, and the 
thing had disappeared. But yet he's looking around outside for the gun. He's got a lamp out there, something, street light or something. And out of the woods, peeks out of the woods, the skinwalker formed as a wolf-type dog. Then he said to the kid, go, go to your room. It's just never mind that. The guy's crazy. So not preparing his kid or telling his kid or even preparing himself. He just, <laughs> leave it alone. Then another, the next night, I guess, a few nights later went by and the thing kept roaming around the house. Finally, a thing came out again. He's out the back porch. He's got his gun. Thing stands up. He shot it. Poof, poof, poof. Three, four times. Thing growled and just stared at him. He immediately went in the house and da 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 da. And I mean, all in all, nothing as bad happened to him. But the thing keeps showing himself. He said he has to update with the guy. And I forget, this video might have been, might have came out a year ago or something. So I don't know if he updated. I got to go to his channel, even try and get him to, to a direct message, comment, whatever. I'd like to know. But this thing just following him, literally just, you know, showing itself, appearing every which way. But loose. <laughs> Good movie, watch it. Clint Eastwood and the Orangutan. Movie reference. But yeah, just to think that I myself now coming in contact with this thing. Is my wife seeing him run across that road that day? Oh yeah. Me, I still gotta get out in them woods. Gotta pick a day. I get out there, I'm trying for the next. Damn, excuse me, few days. Just been so damn busy. Like I said, I got this housing problem now. I do have another place to go. Some adjustments have been arranged, but still having housing problems. But lately, I don't know, and another thing I want to mention, but that's the story anyways. Nothing's happened serious to this guy, I guess. Of course, like I said, the guy hasn't updated nothing new or talked to him. And that was a year before I think the video was even posted. So there's a couple years lapped back on that. Hopefully I get some info from this guy because I am goddamn curious. But tonight, mind you, Mark and the Pug, I had to leave my phone in here like I said. And two or three times, I was coming around the bend there. All right. Where I caught this friggin' flash of light come by my phone, which is an orb, mind you. And the damn thing covered the whole phone as it glared by like that. And almost in the same area where I heard a crack in the woods, whether it be, I don't know, nighttime animal. But this happened, you know... I think before the snow really fell on the ground. So there was still some time for things to get around out there, but for goddamn some reason I thought I heard a friggin' fluke. Like a warning, like a, uh, like the sirens used to hear back in the day. Well, not them things, but it just kept doing that. It's like someone was just hitting like a two notes. I don't know what if anybody's over here practicing. I know my son's got a plastic flute. I'm going to get a hold of to see if I can mimic that noise that I heard. And it's stuck in my friggin' head. But three times I stopped. They turned around. I'm looking. Trying to see if like a kid's near a window or something. Because these projects, you know, have a lot of buildings, a lot of lights, a lot of windows. You know, but just to hear that sound, and um, quite honestly, I don't think there's no kids in here that are too much, you could say, so-called, wanting to be flute players. <laughs> My son did it, 
That was like friggin' Jesus Christ seven, eight years ago. And, I mean, I don't... I can't see any kid in this place where I'm staying being a flute player, honestly. But what I heard, and I'm walking, and I'm like, all right, whatever, there's got to be someone in their house, but I don't know. That just sound all fishy to me. And it just rang, 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 rang. I'm like, what the, the flute? Mind you, in the area, like I said, I got all that racket. The orb. But. Oh man. There's some crazy stuff going on. Things coming up though. That are just. <laughs> and a skinwalker thing. Is one of them. I mean the two stories I just covered. With the two. Murdered women. Is another thing. Just by coincidence. I just still can't get over. I just finished a story. To get into another story. That's I. Almost, almost identical to the last one. Murder-wise, secluded area-wise type thing. Like, what the... F I don't know. Something's pushing me somewhere. Things are happening to me for a reason. It's a damn good thing for me, but... And other times, man, I'm thinking, damn, it just... Makes me crazy to think what the hell's going on. But it's what I want to get into and I want to do, I want to solve mysteries. And I want to get and tinker around with that supernatural world, boy. I'm getting close, I can tell you that. Things are out there friggin' giving me a sign or something, so. Other than that, I wanted to get that out. Skinwalkers, I do believe in them and I think I have a connection with them. And I'll be goddamned if I crack this threshold with YouTube. Get paid. I'm gonna do my damnedest to get out there. Skinwalker Ranch. Oh, yes. I wanna come face to face with that shaman. I'm gonna give it a little peace sign, though. I'm gonna go out there with no bad intentions, but. I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking I got a connection. I think I got something going on with them skinwalkers, and it's a good thing. So, that being said, world of you two, don't know what's going to happen. I'll come up tomorrow, boy, but till that next video, be safe, take care, and always believe. Got to believe. And I'm going to try and make everybody a believer. <laughs> Yes, and one thing, I'm going to finish it with this, I know when I die, oh man, I'm going to do my damnedest being dead, coming back as a spirit, just going to everybody's place, knock things down, push things over, <laughs> make some noises, ah! I'm going to make believers out of non-believers, that's for sure, watch out you non-believers, because if I die, I'm coming to haunt you. Out.